15% of Australians own an investment property. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's nothing. Those people are a waste of my time. Politicians, however, 44% of federal politicians own at least one investment property. <laughs> you don't need to be Eddie Wu to know that's good maths. And that's why I founded Poly Properties, the only real estate company devoted solely to politician property investors. What's your portfolio? Defence? No, no, no. I mean your investment portfolio. Oh, five dwellings. Good, good, nice. You know, federal politicians on average own about two properties per person. Now, that might seem excessive, but what you've got to remember is that these people work in a place that has an upper house and a lower house. One house is never going to be enough for them. You know, I take pride in the fact that we cater to everyone. Labor, Liberal, Teals, even the Greens. Nick McKim, just looking after your two investment properties, mate. Senator Faruqi, how's the subdividing going? ka -ching. Tony Burke, can I interest you in a fifth investment property? Maybe somewhere to put all those guitars, eh? Strum. Hey, big spender! <laughs> How are you, Allegra? The key to property is location, location, location. Or in the case of MP Karen Andrews, who jointly owns six investment properties, location, 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 location. Uh, and if you're including her primary residence, location. But you know, with so many politicians owning investment properties, it does make the auctions quite competitive. Today we have a sun-soaked three-bedder conveniently located in the heart of Canberra. Clock up your capital gains in the nation's capital. And if you are a federal politician looking to buy today, you can still stay here and claim a $299 travel allowance per night. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, get paid to sleep in your own house. Sounds like a good deal, but there is a catch. Scrap that, there does not appear to be a catch. All right, who's gonna start me off? $1.5 million from the member for Dawson, thank you. Do I hear 1.6? 1.6 from the member for Watson, thank you. Now, I understand that some Australians want politicians to clamp down on tax incentives for property investors. But what you've got to understand is that property investment is the hand that feeds them too. They're not gonna bite it, they'll be biting their own hand. Would you do it? But trust me, I work with these politicians. They do care. I understand the plight of renters. Many of the people who rent my investment properties are renters. In fact, all of them are. That was very good, mate. I almost believed you. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Oh, hang on, just getting a call. Oh, it's a tenant. Mm. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good night.